Shalom, Aki. It's your brother Karab from GMS Miami. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachak, Wadash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew. I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts of waking up the hopefully elect of the, na of the nation of Israel, Shalom. Okay, and uh, this lesson pretty much is going to be entitled Finish. Finish, 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 man. Okay, and that should be our mindset. Okay, especially that now that we're seeing, you know, uh, all the major prophecies are, are, you know, either coming to fruition or, or um, you know, are, are building up. Okay, and when I say all of them, all of them. Okay, well, if, if they if the prophecy hasn't been fulfilled, it will be shortly. Okay, ultimately leading up to the salvation of the nation of Israel. Okay, which is what we hasten. Okay, that's what this thing is all about, man. Um, grinding this thing out so that we can get on a chariot, man. Period, point blank, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. You got to humble yourself down, humble the fuck down. Excuse my language, you know. You got to take orders, take orders. You got to pray, you got to you got to fast. Okay, you got to trim, you know. Whatever it is, we must finish, man. Okay? Um And that's just, you know, that is just common nature to uh to want to finish what you've started, you know, especially, especially when it entails uh, uh, such a high calling that we've been called into, okay, and uh, we obviously believe we've been called, okay, now what we have to do is make sure that that calling leads to us being delivered, you see, and that's the importance of finishing this thing, man, okay, and like I said, it's, it's pretty much, it should be second nature, okay, with anything you do in life, you know, whether it be carnal, you know, or spiritual, the mindset is to finish it, you know. Um, so let me get a few precepts just to edify this point. Okay, because now ain't the time to be getting weak, man, you know. And it's just a sad song if brothers are, man, you know. Just pray, but we got all the, 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 um, the essentials that we need to weather the storm, man, okay. We have a beautiful, beautiful body, okay. And um, whatever, what you know, whatever your low points are, low spots, man. Hey, it's gonna be uh, uh, uh sufficed, you know, through the body, man. That's why it's important to stay connected. This is Ecclesiastes chapter seven, and I started seven. Ecclesiastes seven and seven. It says, "Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart." Um. Verse 8 is the point. It says, Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Okay. So the point is, better is the end of a thing than the beginning of it. You know, because usually when you're starting off, and now, you know, when you look back on your humble beginnings in this faith, man, you look at, uh, you know, the path that you had matriculate. Um, now, if I, if I, if I had to, you know, you know, I wouldn't change anything, I, you know, because it's uh, it, it ultimately builds you up to the man that you need to be. But there are a lot of embarrassing moments when you first come into this faith, man. OK, you're puffed up, you're proud, you know. But, uh, it, you know, there's no good pride, you know, but uh, the pride is, uh, you know, that, that, that that's on you when you're when you're young in the faith um, is ultimately from you not fully, fully understanding the magnitude and the power of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai, and how that this thing is totally, totally selfless. Okay, but you know, like I say, that's that uh, that stems from your humble beginnings in the faith. But you know, uh, like I said, if I had to, you know, I wouldn't change anything. But I don't know, nah, you know, to get this far and, and all the uh, life lessons that I've had on along the way, man, you know. Um, it's, it'll be more satisfying, okay, to go ahead and finish this thing, man, okay? Like with anything you're doing, you're starting a, a huge project, building a house, or <laughs> or something simple as a 2,000-piece jigsaw puzzle, you see? When you first start, you know, you kind of depressed 
But when 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 you, when you put that last piece in, man, you can rejoice, and that goes with anything that you do. So how much more spiritually, okay? And, and, and finishing out our task in this ministry, and ultimately be being delivered by Yahweh by Shimei Shah, okay? And that's what entails. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning, okay? Also, the end of our captivity, okay? Because damn sure the end is going to be better than the beginning, okay? And it's a beautiful thing, and that's the gospel, and that's the good news, man, okay? That's the good news we're hoping for, that people just can't understand. And, it, it, hey, it doesn't matter, man. The scriptures say that this is a, a little sanctuary, man, okay? A little, a small sanctuary, and uh, that... Um, that keeps us from bumping our head on the wall wondering why these people can't get it. Okay, we just thank the Lord that we got it. This is Philippians 3 and 13. It says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. You see? Kind of tying into, uh, you know, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. I'm going to read that again. It says, uh, Verse 13, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those those things which are before. Okay, and what's behind? You know, the man that we left in the world, man. Okay, and what's in front of us? Ultimately, in Lord willing, salvation. Okay, and, and when, you, when you totally have that mindset, nothing in your past hey you know seems to to matter okay now look we still in this weak ass flesh okay and you still haunted by those demons that you know sometimes plagues you in the world you know they come in with you know um with clever and shystiness okay but we've been given the tools to, to defend that man okay even in the hebrew you know simple as saying anya garka shatan or ira shaika shatan you know, so we, we, we have the tools now. Nobody said it would be easy, but we definitely have the tools and the things that uh, we need to uh, fend against that. OK. Um, and looking forth unto those things which are before. OK. And what's before us, man? Shoot. The kingdom of heaven, man. OK. All the prophets sought for these times. Okay, it says, um, verse 14, it says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, or I'll read that. Uh, it says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of Yahweh in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay, and what's the, what's, the, what's the prize? Like I said, to get on that chariot to be redeemed from the earth, man, from the disaster in the, in the, in the the horrible catastrophes that are going to be played out on this earth, man. Okay, that's what we're doing it for, man. And Listen, you know, I've seen it over and over again, my short stint in the faith, but it's, it's still hard to wrap your mind around. And you don't have to. We don't have to wrap our mind around why would a guy, you know, uh, you know, just, you know, put down his shovel and stop digging, man. Okay? And that's laughable at the same time, like the scriptures say which one of you began to build a house, you know, and got in, and, and got in, involved in it, you know, roughly paraphrasing and, uh, you know, didn't didn't have sufficient funds to continue, meaning you didn't count the cost. And they being like the scriptures say, they began to mock him. OK. And it's laughable. Why? Because before you get into something, you should already you should know. OK. Or have a, a, a preface or, or, or overstanding what this thing is all about, man. You see, <clears throat> that's why it's laughable. What did you think this was? You think this is, you know, going to move on your, your, your tempo or your pace? No, that's laughable, man. And, and the reason why is because you're not being, a, uh, you're not searching the scriptures daily like we're commanded to, man. Okay. One, one form of fashion, whether it's electronic epistles or reading or fellowshipping, whatever it may be. Okay. Cause the, 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 the uh, the goal is plain, man. <laughs> the goal is plain. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4. And I'll start at the top. It says, 
Second uh, Timothy four and one. It says, "I charge thee, therefore, before the Most High, and Yahow and and the Lord Yahweh Shahamashiach, who shall judge the quick and the dead at His appearing and His kingdom." Verse two: Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Verse three: For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And those are the times we're living in now, man. Okay, and, and really, ultimately, there's nothing new under the sun. You know, Jake's always been doing this. Okay, but uh, more prevalent now because uh, what what is what is going on? Yahweh Bashim Yahushua separating the sheep from the goats. You see, and then judgment ultimately is going to start with who? The, the, the ones the ones that actually know that they're Israelites, okay? Okay? Because you have to get the, the head in order before you can fix the body. You understand? You see? It's plain and simple. Um, let me keep reading. Uh, verse 4. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, Make full proof of thy ministry, okay? And that's from the elder apostles on down, man. That's what we're taught, okay? And that's and that ultimately, that's what our focus is, man. You know, everything else is is uh, is irrelevant when you when you when you look at you know the whole scheme of things. Everything is irrelevant, man. We got a finish line to cross, okay? And it says, uh, verse six. It says, "For I am now ready to be offered." And the time of my departure is at hand. Verse 7. And this is the Apostle Paul speaking. says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Okay. And then look. That, and you can tell. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, in the writings man. That Paul had a sense of comfort man. Why? Because he did what Yahweh Shah had told him. Okay. Which was the will of the Heavenly Father. To do the will of the Heavenly Father. You see. And he did it at a high level, okay? And then guess what? When it was time for him to uh, pass on, okay, or to die, or to sleep, okay, he had comfort. Why? Because he had done what the Heavenly Father told him to do, okay? And like it says, uh, I forget what, which book, but it basically saying he has a, a, a crown laid up for him in heaven, okay? Uh, let's go to John. This is St. John chapter 4. I started at 31. St. John uh, 4 and 31. In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. Verse 32. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Verse 33. Therefore said the disciples one to another, have any man brought him aught to eat? Verse 34, Yahweh Shah saith unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Okay? And guess what? We're ordered in, to walk in the footsteps of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. Okay? And what, it, what was his claim? It's the same thing that should be our claim. My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Okay? Okay, because we have to have that full understanding that this is not of us, okay? Not one ounce of it. Okay, we're just vessels filled with the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the more we can understand that, the less we can get the, the more we can get out get out of our own way. You see? Because the battle is fought where? In your head, man, in your mind. Okay, but the more you understand that the most high is doing this. This is the most high's movie. Okay? Yeah, I want to be delivered. Yeah, I'm hastening the day. Yeah, I hope, you know, the end comes next week. Okay? But it ain't about me. It's about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the more you can understand that, the more you can do your role. Control the things that you can control, okay? And let the Heavenly Father's movie play out according to how he, you know, how it was written. Okay? It, it takes the stress level down. Okay? Um... Let me get one more. We we'll get one more. We we'll close this thing out. Okay, and this just you know, Yahweh Shah actually validated what we just read. This is uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's 
Let's start at 29. The St. John 19 and 29 says, Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar and put it upon his sop and put it in his mouth. Okay, and ultimately that just, that just all the way, all the way dehydrated a man. Okay, and, and you know, as the scripture saying, we still, you know, can't visually fathom, okay, the, the type of hell and the torture that, that, that our Messiah, you know, uh, went through, okay, but uh, you know that this this uh, that vinegar was the, uh, the the you know pretty much the nail in the coffin, man. It says verse twenty nine. Uh, it says now there was a set there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar and put it in put it upon his sop and put it to his mouth. Verse thirty. When Yahushai therefore had received the vinegar, he said, "It is finished," and he bowed his head. And gave up the ghost. Okay, and the key key phrase there it is it is finished. Okay, and what 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 was finished? Okay, his plight or his the will of the heavenly Father that he was sent to do, which was to die for the sins of the nation of Israel. Okay, so that we can have a fighting chance. Okay, to be redeemed and to ultimately get back in the good graces of the heavenly Father. Okay, through what our faith and our works through Yahweh Shem Yahushua. Okay, what an excellent excellent.